here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we had a few uh, random showers this afternoon, most of it in southeastern Massachusetts, but really a better part of the day dry. And that's pretty much the same thinking for tomorrow, like a spot shower in the afternoon, but mostly dry. Take a look outside in Lincoln under mostly cloudy skies and no precipitation after a few showers today, looking at temps that are in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Let's take a look at the numbers. 51 currently in Providence and Cumberland and in Bedford at 52. Some of the cooler areas include out towards Ashaway and Westerly and Hope Valley at 46 along the Charlestown, along the South Shore, 48. New Bedford now checking in at 52. So on the weather menu is once again shower with the word isolated, meaning most of your Wednesday afternoon is actually dry with a mix of both clouds and sunshine. Thursday is a perfect day. Still calling this a, um, like a lunch outdoors day. A lot of sunshine, dry, milder, getting temperatures in the mid 60s. And as you would expect over the last really, I don't know how many weeks, uh, last uh, Six of uh, the last 20 weekends, 16 have had precipitation, and here we go again. Uh, this is for Friday and on into Saturday right now, which uh, rain both days, though we are leaning towards Sunday being the drier day, though windy uh, the second half of the weekend. We'll see that in the seven day forecast. It's fairly quiet across New England, so the system that we're watching for Friday into Saturday, you can see it spinning across the northern plains. Here we are, the Great Lakes in New England. So this will track, kind of hitch a ride on the jet stream over the next several days, arriving here both Friday and Saturday. So this is the location right now. Let's switch over, take it into the future, watch the time bar. And we're going to take you into Thursday. That system is across the Great Lakes. We've got a pretty nice day coming up on Thursday with some sunshine. One area of low pressure across the Great Lakes tracking uh, to the north and east, a second one forming offshore. The net result by Friday morning into Friday night and Saturday uh, will be some precipitation. So we'll get in close and we'll backtrack to locally the next 24 hours overnight tonight in the mid 40s, waking up to sunshine tomorrow morning, pre dawn 6 a.m. The sun hasn't even come up yet. It comes up now at 7 a.m. Starting off in the mid 40s, sunshine during the morning. Then notice in the afternoon, it's more of a cloud sun mix and you don't see a lot of green indicating precipitation, but little spotty specks of green indicating maybe an isolated shower here and there. Most areas during the afternoon are actually dry, and then we repeat the process all over again tomorrow night. Clear skies, dry and chilly. Tomorrow morning, sunshine starts off at 45, 11 a.m., 59, the birds are flying by, and then during the afternoon, a cloud-sun mixture, and running like a maybe a 20% chance of an isolated shower, nothing more than that. Most of the time, it's dry. Bay forecast, the wind is light, first east, then turning south at about five to 10 knots. Our seven day forecast shows uh, the beautiful weather on Thursday, and then here comes uh, the rain on Friday, especially afternoon and evening into Saturday, drying out Sunday, but a windy day on Sunday, partly cloudy temps in the upper 50s. Overall, not bad tomorrow, even better on Thursday. It feels like fall. It does. All right, Tony, thanks. <laughs> Coming up.